If you're married, do you need a power of attorney for your spouse if you live in Texas? Hi, I'm a state planning attorney, Aaron Miller, and a lot of people ask me, why do we need a power of attorney if I'm married? Well, the thing is, if you are married, you can get access to accounts that have your own name on it. So if both you and your spouse's name on a bank account, for example, you can get access to it because it's your money. But if you and your spouse are na is named on a deed to a piece of property, maybe the house that you live in, and you wanna sell that property, if your spouse is still alive, you either need to get that spouse to agree to sell the property, or maybe they're, they're not able to make decisions anymore. If you have a power of attorney, you can sign for them. But just because your name is on the property and your spouse's name on the property doesn't mean that you automatically have the authority to sign for them. You have to have some sort of documentation. And hopefully that's a power of attorney. Now, if your spouse is not able to make decisions anymore, then you might have to look at becoming a guardian for your spouse. But you cannot just sign for your spouse and under those circumstances. Listen, if you live in Texas and you need help putting together your power of attorney or the rest of your estate planning documents, give us a call today.